There's really no reason you should be buying filament spools from Bamboo Lab. Or, more specifically, if you buy a roll of filament from Bamboo Lab, there is no reason to buy it with the spool attached. Let me explain what the heck I'm talking about. Bamboo Lab, you know them, the company from which you can buy high-end 3D printers, their accessories, and of course, filament. Now there's a few reasons why you might want to buy filament specifically from them. It may not be the cheapest stuff out there, but it is good quality. Plus, if you already own a Bamboo Lab printer, especially one with an AMS, they have built-in filament profiles for them, as well as RFID tags that can scan the filament, recognize what kind it is, and automatically load that information into Bamboo Studio. And of course, if you want to buy some filament with the points that you've gotten via Maker World's rewards program, you kind of have to get it through Bamboo Lab. But if you do buy their filament, you have a choice of either buying it with a spool attached or, for a slightly cheaper price, just a refill, no spool included. Now, obviously, every roll of filament needs a spool, and I am not filming B-roll to show what happens when you don't have one. So I'm assuming the folks over at Bamboo Lab intend for you to buy a spool with every new color and filament material combination that you get, and then when that runs out and you need to buy another one of the same filament material and color combination, then you can buy just a refill. But here's the weird thing, though. This spool? Nothing special. See, I initially assumed that this would be custom made for the filament it came with, that the RFID tag would be stuck somewhere on it, and there would at least be a label telling you what the material and color was. But no, the RFID tags are on the cardboard core of the refills themselves. There is no tag denoting what color the filament it is, and even the material is just a sticker that comes with the refills, Anyway, this thing is, essentially, just a specially shaped piece of plastic. But if you are someone who is shopping on BambooLab.com, I'm gonna go on a limb here and assume that you already own a machine whose entire job it is to create specially shaped pieces of plastic. So there you go, just find a Bamboo Lab spool 3D model online, print that out, and save yourself three bucks every single time you order a new roll of filament. Now, if you are satisfied with just that tidbit of advice, feel free to stop watching here. However, I can do you one better. See, this method does save you money, but it still doesn't change the fact that the spool itself does not indicate what color of filament it is holding in any way. I mean, sure, you could just write the color on the spool itself, or, you know, look directly at the spool to see what color it holds, but neither of those things are very evident at a distance. Now, instead, wouldn't it be cool to have a spool that was printed out of the very filament that it holds so you could see exactly what color it was, even from afar? Now, of course, printing a spool out of the very filament that it holds gives rise to a thorny ship-in-a-bottle paradox, because if you want to print anything out of filament, you need to put a spool on it. And then if you print that spool out of the original filament, well, now you somehow have to put the filament that's already on a spool onto the new spool that you just printed, which is difficult but it becomes significantly less difficult if you have a Spool Changer 5000. This is a little device I made that basically just holds the filament together so you can take its old spool off and put its new spool on without it falling apart. Here's how the whole process works. To start out, you'll need a roll of filament with a spool. I know my X1 Carbon came with one, but if your printer didn't, well then, you'll have to buy one with a spool on it, as I regrettably have done. Then, print off the Spool Changer 5000 link below, and a Bamboo Lab spool of your choice with the filament you want to re-spool. I've included one of my personal designs linked below as well, but you can find tons of other versions, I'm sure. Once that's done, you'll have to get the roll of filament into the Spool Changer 5000. 
This is the tricky part. Start with a temperature resistance writing face down. This will make your life a bit easier later. Now, it may take some adjusting, but you'll need to slip all four corners simultaneously in between the filament itself and the spool. Just be patient. It might take a few tries and it might slip out once or twice. That's natural. But once you've gotten that done, you can undo the spool. And if you did everything right, it will fall into the spool changer 5000 without completely unraveling. Now, if you oriented it correctly, the notch here should be facing up. Find the corresponding tab on whatever spool you printed out and line that up. Then tighten it down as you remove it from the spool changer 5000. Finally, put the sticker on this oval part here with the arrow facing inside, and voila! You have a roll of filament wrapped around a spool that it printed. And of course, if you run out of, say, this filament and buy another refill from Bamboo Lab, you don't have to do all these shenanigans again. You can just put it on this spool straight up according to Bamboo Lab's original instructions. So that's how it works. Now, was that all necessary? Maybe. It certainly was fun. Make sure you check out all my free 3D models. Links in the description below. Check out my other social media. Subscribe to the channel. And have a nice day. Bye.